So uh, we need rollers. We will see how we get on. We might use sticks and bands, but we can grab them halfway through. So rollers, we're using the roller to mobilize and to create the inversion of the spine, uh, counteracting this rounding forward. We're not using it to roll the muscle as such, we're using it to invert, which means we, uh, that's why I get you to open over it and that's why we roll in that arch shape. So sitting on your mats with those legs out in front, let your knees come up a bit. So it doesn't really matter. That's why I said to mum, it doesn't really matter if you use a ball, as long as it is lifting your back off the floor so that you are creating that inverted arch. So hold on to the base of your feet and lift your head, pushing it over your toes. Hold, and I use my elbows to hold my knees so they don't flop out sideways keeping them in alignment and I'm pulled forward with my hands onto my front bottom and I lengthen my neck and pull my shoulders away from the ears. So these are all things I'm thinking about while I'm leaning forward. Am I on my front bottom? Can my hip bone come closer to my thighs? Can my armpits come over my knees more? Can my head stretch above those feet? Are my feet parallel or is one foot dropping out? And then I'm going to sit myself up tall, let my knees come to the floor, roll those shoulders up to the ears, round and back. <clears throat> roll those shoulders up to the ears, round. Put the fists on the floor or the hands on the floor behind and pull those elbows together and push that breastbone forward, breathing in, breathing out. So if you act your lungs like bellows, so as you breathe in, you reach capacity and then you just let go. And they empty and then they just suck the air in. So our breastbone lifts up while we do that and our ribs lift up under our armpits, out sideways. So just breathing in, breathing out. Putting those upper arms together, breathing in. Breathing out, squeeze those upper arms together, take that chin to the sky. So keep with that breathing, it's important to empty those lungs and refill them with fresh air. Pushing off those uh, hands, putting those elbows back, putting those upper arms back, lifting that chin up and then bringing that chin all the way over and down into the chest. Keeping those upper arms back. And then turn the eyes to the right side of that right leg, lifting that left ear away from that left shoulder, lifting that chest, pushing those shoulder blades together. And then just turn, rotate your face a little bit, a little left, a little right. So we change this, the pull in that neck. And then release. So no, Jane, keep your eyes looking to the left, the right side of the right leg. And I just rotate it, keeping my eyes looking there. <clears throat> so I change the pull of the neck on the left, the left side of the neck. And then you can release your eyes so you look to the centre between the legs. So your head comes there. And then turn the head so the eyes look to the left side of the left leg. Lift that chest up again in case it's slumped back. Pull those shoulders together. And then pull that right ear away from the right shoulder. And then just turn the face clockwise and anti-clockwise. So we pull on that shoulder, pull onto the neck. Pull on the shoulder, pull on the neck. Pulling, and where you feel the tight, the most tight or tense area, just uh, stay there and stretch a bit more. And then release that head and let the eyes look between your, your ankles. And then bring your gaze up so it's horizontal to the floor. Lift that chest up, push off those hands, squeeze those shoulders together and point the toes. Pull the knees to the floor, flex those ankles. Point those toes. Flex those ankles. Point those toes. Flex those ankles. Lift that chest. Push off those hands, put the hands on the legs. 
Roll those hands all the way forward towards those feet. Pulling, stretching through the back. And then release, stay forwards. Point your toes, take the feet left, take them right. Take them left into a big circle all the way around. Two big circles all the way around. Three big circles all the way around. Keep them pointing. Take them to the other way. One big circle. Two big circles. Three big circles. Push those toes away. Run your hands over the top of your feet, reaching to those toes. Pushing those toes down. Soften your knees so that your feet, your toes come closer and push those toes away from you. Big toe, second toe, middle toe, fourth toe, little toe. And then take behind those toes and pull them towards you. Running all the way through individually to the big toe, stretch those joints, release those feet, push those toes away. Let yourself come back up to vertical. Breathing in, roll those shoulders up to the ears, round and back. Roll those shoulders up to the ears, round and back. Take the left hand, put it on the right knee. Right hand behind, push off that right hand. Push off this left hand on the side of the leg and turn going round to the right. Breathing in, breathing out. Come back to the front. Put that right hand on the left knee, left hand behind and push off that left leg, looking over that right shoulder. Breathing in, breathing out. And come back round to the front. Slide those hands down towards those feet. Stretching and then push the knees into the floor and come back up to vertical. Roll those shoulders up to the ears, round and back. Roll those shoulders up to the ears, round and back. Bring those hands up in front, breathe in. On the out breath, roll yourself down to the floor, one vertebra at a time, pushing that lower back into the ground, middle back, upper back, all the way down. Take those hands all the way overhead. Breathing in. On the out breath, lengthen those arms away. Push that right hand away from the right foot. Push that left hand away from that left foot. Push both hands away from both feet. Pull those shoulders down towards the waist. Bring those hands up to the sky. Bring those hands all the way down to the floor by the side. Roll the shoulders into the ground. And then push on the upper arms. Lift that chest up. So we're stretching through that back, putting those shoulder blades together. And then release the back onto the floor, bring those arms up into the sky, push those hands up, push that back down. Tummy's tight, so we're flattening the lower back. Bring those arms out wide to the floor, back to the hands down, squeeze those shoulder blades together and lift that back, push the head into the floor, breathing in. Breathing out, bring those hands together, push that back into the floor, bring those hands to the sky. Bring those hands out wide, lift that chest up. Arching, pushing the tailbone into the floor, pushing the back of the head into the floor, breathing in. Breathing out, push the back into the ground, bring those arms up to the sky, breathing in. Breathing out, bring those hands out wide, lift that chest up. Lifting up, so pushing the tailbone in the ground, pushing the head in the ground, the back's lifted off the floor, squeezing those shoulder blades together. And then rounding, pushing the back into the ground, lower back, middle back, upper back, reaching those hands up. And then bring those hands down onto the legs, mom, grab your rope. Everybody else, reach the feet and roll yourself all the way back up to sitting. Slide those hands all the way down towards those feet. And just stretch through that back. And then sit yourself up nice and tall. Okay, bring your roller in. So remember, <clears throat> we are opening over this. I've had a few queries with this for people who worked out with other people. 
we are using it as a way of inverting the spine. So take hold of the head, breathing in, breathing out, open. <clears throat> so if you don't want to let your head go back because you feel dizzy, as in Jane, or um, then just keep your, your eyes to the sky, but push the breastbone up so that you're arching that, that thoracic spine over this roller. Breathing in, breathing out. And then bring that head back up. And then move that roller up a few centimeters and breathe in. But can you all have a grapefruit size space between your chin and your chest? So mum, right now you've got your chin almost on your chest. Get your chin away from your chest. It needs to stay with the spine being straight. So breathing in. Breathing out. So I might just have my fingertips on the back of my head as opposed to the ball of my hand because my shoulders might be restricting me arching. So pushing that breastbone up, letting that head come down, pushing that tailbone into the floor, arching that back over the roller and then bringing that head back up. So you don't need to have your fingers all interlinked. Move that roller up a little bit more. Breathing in. Breathing out, push that tailbone down, push the breastbone up to the sky. So I don't even, I haven't even um, here, my head's not on the floor. My neck is still in line with my spine. I've got a grapefruit size gap between my chin and my chest. And then roll myself back up. So I'm not over, over extending my neck. Move the roller up a little bit more, breathing in. Breathing out. Let that head come back. So maybe the back of the head can rest on the roller. And then just rock a little bit left, a little bit right. Use your hand and your jaw. Just lengthen each side of the neck. And then take the head in the hands and lift the bum off the floor and rolling through the arch. So if you're on a softer ball, just move that ball down. So we're using it to mobilize the shape of the spine, not particularly massaging the muscle. And then moving, rolling up, and then rolling down. And then rolling up, and then leaning on the right-hand side. Just right of the spine, leaning right, and then coming back to the center. And then leaning left, rolling down, and then back up. And then coming back to center. And then put your bum on the ground and lift yourself away from the roller. And we can just turn ourselves onto the side. <clears throat> so I'm sideways on, put one arm over the roller and bring it in so it rests on the bottom rib. So you, you decide how heavy you are on the roller. We're using it to create a shake rather than push hard. So if I move this elbow away and continue to stay straight, the roller is going to push hard on the ribs. If I slide the arm out but take my armpit to the ground, I'm bending over the roller, which is what I want you to do. I want you to bend over it. So we stretch these top ribs. And then we're going to release, come straight, lift ourselves away, put the roller down again further. Then I'm going to let my hand go away and bend over the roller. So I'm stretching all these top ribs. And then I'm going to lift myself up again. Use the elbow, move the roller up again. Allow yourself to lie on the, on the roller here. Now I can just shimmy up and down in that armpit, rest my head on my underneath arm. And then I can... Move the roller down a bit, shimmy up and down. So now I'm massaging those muscles around the shoulder blade. So I can bring my left leg up and use my legs to move me up the roller. 
or I can lift my body up from my arms and move the roller down with my hand. I just want you gently to move it down the body, rocking forwards and backwards. So we're massaging those muscles around that shoulder blade. And then if you want, so Helen, if you want, you can do the full length of your side. Ma and Jane, if you want, you just move your body over it. So you're massaging. You decide how heavy you want to be on the roller by using your elbow or arching the body up. Moving forwards and back. And then when you've gone all the way down and all the way up, you can lift your head up. And you can either roll onto your back and turn over, or you can lift yourself up, roll onto the other side, or move the roller the other way around and then change sides. <clears throat> so again, resting on the side, I'm on my hip, bring the roller to those bottom ribs. Let my body rest on there and then arching over the roller, put my head down to the floor, stretching these ribs on the top. Lengthening, use the elbow, lift yourself back up, move the roller up. So to start with, so mum, you're not listening to what I'm saying. To start with, we are opening and arching over. So we keep the roller still and we lengthen and stretch over it like that. So we're stretching through all the ribs on the top. Allowing, if the, if the, body, if the bones are stiff, the muscles will be stiff. Then we lift up. Move the roller up a bit, and then we lay over it again, arching over, lifting. So we're stretching all the ribs on the top. Use the elbow, use the hand, lift, move the roller up again. Lifting all the way, uh, sorry, arching all the way over again. Once we get up to the armpit, then we can release the top arm and we can just shimmy up and down. So forwards and backwards, up and down. I'm doing circles. I'm going forwards and backwards, up and down. So I'm massaging the muscles of the armpit or the shoulder. I can then push off the elbow, lift the body off the roller and move it down. Do the same thing there. Inching it down little by little. Or I can lift my hips up and I can roll the roller down and continue to do the circles and the shimmying whilst moving it. But that has a lot more weight on the ribs, so it'll be more uncomfortable. So if you, if you find that too hard, then you just lift your body up by pushing the elbow in the floor, lifting the ribs up, and then the roller becomes loose. And then rest it down a little bit further. Moving through that armpit. And then resting the bum down. Then use your elbow, lift yourself up, turn over onto your back. So we're back in the original position with the roller in the below the bra strap. Hold on to the head, breathing in. Breathing out, lengthen. So I've got my fingertips just on the base of my skull. And then I open. And then I can just roll the length one more time. So by having just my fingertips here, I'm able to, my armpits are not restricting the arch back. And then put the bum on the floor, bring that head up, push off that roller and sit yourself up. Just move that roller out of the way. So I'll just turn around so I can see the cameras. Put those legs out straight. Roll those shoulders up to the ears, round and back. Roll those shoulders up to the ears, round and back. Put the hands on the floor, lift that chest up high. Use those heels to pull forward. Take that chin to the sky. And then pull that chin into the chest. Take that chin up into the sky. And pull that chin all the way down into the chest. Take that chin up so the eyes are horizontal, pull the knees down, put the right hand on the left knee, turning round, looking over that right shoulder. Lift that chest up high so you keep in column. 
and then come back to the front, put the right hand on the left knee, left hand behind, lift that chest up and then turn round to the left, use that right hand to turn you. And then come back round to the front, hold those arms up, up to horizontal, breathing in and on the out breath, lowering that spine, one vertebra at a time, all the way down to the ground. Bring those arms all the way overhead, reach and stretch. Take that right hand in the left, uh, right wrist in the left hand and pull that hand over to the left side of the mat. <clears throat> Keep those shoulders on the floor, walk those feet left. So this is the same as laying over the roller. Push that right hand away from that right foot, feel the stretch through that side. So when we use the roller, we just lay over it. So we use the bend and gravity to create stretch. When we're doing it this way, we're pulling the hand across and we're pushing the hand away from the foot, which creates more stretch, but we're using our muscles to stretch. Walk those feet across to the right side of the mat. Walk those hands to the right side, take hold of that left wrist. <clears throat> push that left hand away from that left foot, push that left hip over to the left and stretch through that left side, keep the shoulders on the ground, breathing in, breathing out, release, bring those hands, the feet together, bring those hands together, bring those arms all the way up to the sky, pull the shoulders away from the ears, bring the chin into the chest and roll yourself all the way up, Hands on those legs, good, reaching all the way forward. Keep going forward, reaching and stretching all the way down. So we're moving the body while we're stretching. Bring yourself up to vertical, bring those arms up, breathing in, flatten from the bottom here, push the, lower, the pelvis onto the floor, push the pelvis back, keep those hands forward, then the lower back goes down, and then the middle back goes down, and the upper back goes down, and the head goes down, and the arms come overhead, pull the shoulders away from the ears, bring those arms up into the sky. Breathing in on the out breath, bring those arms apart, squeeze those shoulder blades together, lift that uh, body away from the floor, push the back of the head into the ground, push the bum into the ground. Release that back, slide those hands down towards your bum. Slide your hands under your bum, breathing in. Breathing out, push those elbows into the floor and lift up onto the back of the head. <clears throat> breathing in on the out breath, push that chest up high and point those toes. Breathing in, pull those shoulder blades together as you breathe out. Flare those ribs as you breathe in and really stretch through those intercostal muscles and then release down to the ground. Bring that left knee into the body, hug it in. Bring that right knee into the body, hug it in. Push the head away from the tailbone, breathing in, breathing out. Push that left leg out straight, keep that right leg in. Pull that right leg across the body, turn the eyes right, push that right hand away. Right knee to the floor, breastbone to the sky. Breathing in, breathing out. Turning through those ribs, shoulders to the ground. And then release back onto the back. Pull that right knee in towards the body. Pull that right leg over the body. Knee to the floor, shoulders to the floor. Roll back onto the back. Pull that knee into the shoulder. Take the right arm to the floor. Bring that right knee over. Turn the eyes right to the right ears down. Lengthen that left leg. Push that right ear from the shoulder or the shoulder away from the ear. Push the hand away. Knee to the floor. Hip follows the knee. 
And then release onto that left hand side, take hold of that right foot behind. <clears throat> Let the left leg come in front, push that right foot into that right hand, lengthening it behind you. And then let the knee come in line with your body. Let the knee come forward, foot comes to the bum. And then push the foot away from the bum, push that knee behind. And then let that foot come towards the bum. And then push that leg away behind. So we're doing a bit of push, stretch, release, stretch, release. And then release all the time, got the tummy engaged. So the front of the body's vertical. And then release that leg, roll back onto the back. Pull that knee in towards the armpit again. Pull that knee over the body, pushing that hand away. Eyes looking towards that right hand. Tummy button coming to the sky, breastbone coming up, turning through those ribs. Roll back onto the back, bring that right knee in. Turn that right leg and bring that left leg up. Pull the left leg in, push the right knee away. Breathing in, breathing out, hold that knee away and then push the knee into the hand. Breathing in, breathing out, push the knee into the hand. Release, lengthen, rotate, push the hand on that right knee and pull the uh, left leg towards, rotating that thigh, stretching that bum. Let that left leg go out straight, release the, left, the right foot and hold the right knee. Pull that knee up to the armpit and then pull it across the body again, turning the eyes right, push the right ear from the shoulder. Bring that right knee to the floor, bringing the breastbone up, tummy button up. And then release onto your back and let that right leg go out straight. Take those hands overhead, reach and stretch and feel the difference between those legs. Your right leg feels longer, it feels straighter, it feels closer to the ground. Pull the shoulders away from the ears, bring those hands to the sky. Bring that left leg in. Take hold of that left leg and <clears throat> pull that left leg up towards the shoulder and the armpit. Breathing in, breathing out, push that right leg straight. Bring that left leg over the body, all the way down to the floor on the right hand side, turn the eyes left, keep the left shoulder away from the ear. Bring that breastbone up to the sky. Bring that belly up to the sky. Let that knee come down to the floor, turning through the middle, breathing in. Breathing out. Rolling back onto the back, bring that right knee in towards the armpit, push that left, sorry, bring that left knee in towards the armpit, push the right leg away. Everything's happening with the left leg now. Bring that left leg over the body, turn the eyes left, push the left shoulder away from the ear, <clears throat> push that hand away from the body. Push that left knee over to the floor, follow the hip after it, follow the shoulder after the hand. Turn the eyes, pull that left nostril to the floor and then release onto the back, pull that left leg up again. Breathing in and then release, pull that left knee over again. Eyes left, knee to the floor, hip after the knee. Roll onto that right hand side. Let the underneath leg drift forward, take hold of the top leg and the top hand. Push that foot into the hand and extend it behind the body, making sure you keep the front of the body straight. Pubic bone, tummy bottom, breastbone are in a vertical line, they're not curved. Push that foot, stretch that leg behind and then release, bring the foot towards the bum and then push. So make sure with this knee, this top knee, that it's not lifting up to the sky and then let the foot come to the bum and release. And then push that foot and hand away from me, from you, like you're concertinaing it in and out. And then let it come in. And then push that foot and hand away from you. 
and then let it come back in. And then one more, push that foot and hand away from you. And then let it come in. And then roll back onto your back, pulling that knee in towards your armpit. And then pull that knee all the way over the body to the right. Push that left hand away, turn the eyes left. And then roll over onto your back, put that right leg straight, pull that left knee in. Hold on to the left foot, bring the right leg in, rest the left foot on the right leg, pull the right leg in, pulling the foot up, push that left knee away. <clears throat> breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Pushing that right knee away. Release that right leg, hold on to the left knee, let the left foot go, pull the left knee up towards the shoulder. And then pull that left leg all the way over the body, turning the eyes left, left knee to the floor, hip off to the knee, breastbone up to the sky, shoulder off to the, the hand, eyes off to the hand. And then release onto the back. And let that uh, left leg go out straight. Take those arms overhead, reach and stretch. Feel both legs feel more similar. Pull those shoulders down to the waist. Bring those arms up to the sky. Bring the hands down to the floor. Arms up. Pull those, push the back of the head in the floor. Pull those shoulder blades together. Get those top ribs, middle ribs, bottom ribs touching the floor. Lower back slightly lifted. Clench the bum. Draw in the core and lift that right leg straight up into the sky. Take those hands behind that leg and pull that leg towards you. Point the toe. Keep that leg straight. Flex the foot. Point. Flex. Point. Flex. Point. Release those hands back to the floor, palms up. Lower that right leg back down to the ground, keeping neutral spine, no movement in the back, shoulders to the floor. Lower ribs to the floor. Drawing in the core, lift that left leg up into the sky. Have the toe pointed, slide your hands up behind the leg. Pull the leg towards your chest. Flex that foot. Point that toe. Flex, point, flex, <clears throat> point. Pull the leg in a bit more, flex, point, flex, point. Release those hands, put them to the floor, palms up. Lower that leg back down to the ground. All the way down, drawing in the core. Bring that right leg straight up into the sky. Bring that left leg straight up into the sky. Take your hands up the back of your legs and reach up towards your feet and down. Reaching up and down. So we're just taking the upper body up off the floor, using the tummy muscles, reaching up and down. One more, reach up and down, soften your knees, put your hands back on the back of the hands on the floor, shoulder blades together, breathing in, breathing out. Keep those shoulders back, breathing in. And on the out breath, lift up the bum, lift, release, lift, release. So I lift by pushing my middle back into the floor, release. Lift, release, lift, release, lift, release. One more, lift, release. Bend your knees, push the back of the head in the floor, get that neutral spine, take the shoulder blades are flat on the ground. Upper ribs, middle ribs, bottom ribs are in touch with the floor, lower back slightly lifted, point those toes, 
Take that right leg over so the toe touches the floor. Lift that leg back up. Same leg. Over. Keeping neutral spine with the shoulders and lift. Over with that foot and lift. Over and lengthen it up straight and bend it back in and bring it back up. Take that leg over to the floor. Slide that leg out straight. Bend that leg back in. Bring it back up, keeping those shoulder blades down. Take that leg over to the floor, keeping the upper back in neutral. Extend that leg out straight. Bring it back in. Bring it back up. Okay, left leg. Rotate that leg over to the floor, slide it out straight, bring it back in, bring it back up, take it over to the floor, slide it out straight, bring it back in, bring it back up, over to the floor with that left leg, slide it out straight, Bring it back in, bring it back up. <clears throat> okay, neutral spine. Draw in that core, take both toes over to the floor. Keep those feet close to your bum. Lift those legs back up. So don't push the lower back into the ground and don't overarch it. Stay still, take those feet over to the floor. Lift those legs back up. Take those feet over to the floor. Extend those legs out straight. Keeping that lower back in neutral, keeping those shoulders on the ground, clench the bum and pull the knees into the floor. Bring those legs back in, bring them back up. Take those legs over to the floor. Take them all the way out straight. Bring them all the way back in. Bring them back up all the way over to the floor. Extend those legs out straight, leave them there. Bring your hands up, so mum grab your rope, breathing in on the out breath, roll yourself all the way up to sitting. Sit up vertical, so hold behind the thighs and pulse, get yourself up vertical, good. Look at your chest, lovely. Chest up, upper back straight. Lower yourself down to mum, grab your rope. We're going to lower through that lower back. So we're moving that lower back, rolling all the way down. Good. Bend your back. Mum, bend, bend, bend. Good, good, good. Head on the floor, breathing in. Roll those shoulders up to the floor and down. Bring the arms up. Breathing in and on the out breath, roll yourself back up to sitting. Hold behind those thighs. Lift that chest up high. Bring those shoulders back and down. So we're lifting up nice and tall. Hold behind the thighs, mum. Yeah, so it pulls that chest up and then bring those arms up and lower yourself down to the floor again. One more time. Down to the floor, one vertebra at a time. Resting on the ground, roll those shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Slide those shoulders down to the ground. Bring those hands up to 45 degrees, breathing in. On the out breath, push those hands forward, push the lower back into the floor, lift yourself up to sitting, hold behind those legs, lift that chest up. Good, lift that chest up. Okay, round that back and come all the way forwards. Stretch through that lower back. Let yourself come up to sitting, to vertical. And then we're going to swing those legs around and come onto all fours. So coming onto all fours, hands under shoulders, knees under feet. Turn the inside of the elbows forward. Turn that tailbone down, push that back up. Turn that tailbone up, drop that back down, push that chest forward and stretch. Turn that tailbone down, push that back up, bring the eyes to the knees. 
and that tailbone up, push that belly down, push that chest forward. Stay in this position, breathing in. On the out breath, slide those arms forward on the ground, keeping your hips above your knees, opening your armpits, <clears throat> rest the forehead on the ground and push those forearms into the ground. So we're stretching through those armpits, push those forearms into the ground, breathing in, breathing out. Release those arms and lengthen them further away. Lengthen them. Slide your body, glide backwards towards your heels and let your arms come in. And then come into child pose, stay in child pose here. So now pull, keeping your knees in contact with the floor where they are, pull them away from each other and feel your bum engages like the clam and release. Pull them away and release. Pull them away, keep them engaged and lift your body up by the tension of pulling them outwards. So we're using those glutes. Turn the tailbone up, bring that chest down, bring those eyes up. Turn that tailbone down, push that back up. Bring those eyes down. Turn that tailbone up, bring that belly down, bring those eyes up. Breathing in. Keep the tension of pulling the knees apart. Slide those hands forward. So we take that chest down, take that forehead or the nose down. Reach those hands forward, stretch through those armpits. Breathing in. Breathing out. Lengthen those hands. Breathing in. Breathing out. Release the push and let them lengthen a little bit more. It might just be a millimeter. And then release the arms, glide the body back into child pose. Let those elbows come in a little bit, pull those knees apart and lift yourself up using that tension onto all fours. Turn that tailbone down, push that back up. Turn that tailbone up, push that chest down, bring those eyes up, breathing in. On the out breath, slide those hands forwards. Bring those armpits down, put the nose down. Reaching forward, push those arms into the floor. Breathing in. Breathing out. Bring the armpits down as much as you can. Release those arms and slide back into child pose. Pulling those knees apart, keep those elbows on the floor and then slide forwards onto your elbows. So we're gonna come and lie down, slide those knees away from yourself and come onto your belly. Rest your forehead on the ground. So just even yourself up, find where, find your straight, clench your bum, tighten your thighs, lift those knees and feet off the ground. Loosen your head and neck, draw your tummy in. Lift, clench with the bum, lift that right leg up for four, three, two, <clears throat> one. Push those toes away, clench through the bum and lift the left leg for four. Lift the tummy up so there's no movement of the pelvis. Three, two, one. Lift both legs. Four, three, two, one. Let those legs rest on the ground. Roll those shoulders up to the ears down and back. Draw in the tummy. Lift the hand and forearm up and release. Hand and forearm up and release. Hand and forearm up, release. Slide those hands down to the bottom ribs. Draw in the belly, lift it off the floor. Clench the bum, lift the legs off the floor. Push off those hands, keep the eyes looking down and open that chest. Release everything there. 
Roll those shoulders up to the earth, down and back, breathing in. On the out breath, close the bum, lift the legs, push off the hands and lift the upper body. So we're resting on those bottom ribs, legs are up too. And then release down, keep the eyes looking at the floor all the time. Roll the shoulders up to the ears, down and back, clench the bum, lift the legs. Using the hands, bring yourself up so your upper body comes up, resting on the bottom ribs still. And release. So this time we'll come onto the thighs. Roll the shoulders up to the ears, down and back, clench the bum, lift the legs. Push off the hands, come onto the bottom ribs. Push off the hands and come onto the thighs. Lower back to the bottom rib. Come onto the thighs. Lower back onto the bottom rib. Come back up onto the thighs. Then all the way back down to the floor. Release those arms. Press the fingertips up by the top of the head. Roll the shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Clench the bum, lift the legs, lift the hands and forearms up. Release. Lift. Release, lengthen the head away from the toes. Lift, hold. Then lift those arms up in the air, tap the elbow down. Lift those arms up, tap the elbow down. Lift those arms up, tap the elbow down. Lift those arms up, tap the elbow, rest the arms, relax the legs. Slide that left hand so it's palm up by the bottom rib. Push off that left hand and turn the eyes to look left. Bring that left knee up with stretch the chest. Let that right arm push away from the body. Push off that left side. Let that right arm come away from the body. Feel the stretch through the chest, through the upper arm. Lengthening, breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. And then release, lower back onto your tummy. Let those legs come straight. Bring that right arm down to the bottom ribs. Turn the eyes right, roll onto the left. Bring that right knee up. Let the left leg, left arm go away from the body. The elbow stays bent. Lift off that right side or lift that right side up. Keep that left shoulder towards the floor. Push that left arm into the ground. Breathing in. Breathing out. Release. Lift that left, that right side higher. Push that left arm into the floor. Breathing in. Release. Lift that right side higher. Let that right, right side go. Come back onto your tummy. Roll those shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Slide both hands down, palms up, fist up by your legs. And bring both hands onto your bum and hold both hands together. Clench your bum, draw your tummy in, lift the belly up. Lift those legs up, breathing in. On the out breath, push those hands to 45 degree angle away from the body, pulling those shoulders back, breathing in. Lift those arms up to the sky and push them away for five, four, three, two. Hold them at one. Push those toes away, keep those legs in the air. Pulse those arms up again for five, four, three, two, one. Release everything down. Rest those arms on the floor, breathing in. On the out breath, roll those shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Lift those arms up in the sky. Clench the bum, so my hands are not, I'm not holding hands here. Lift that upper body up, resting on the bottom ribs. Pulse the arms up for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Let the hands come back level with the top of the head. 
Roll the shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Slide your hands down to the bottom ribs, breathing in. Breathing out, cleanse the bum, lift the legs, lift the belly, lift the upper body onto the bottom ribs. Breathing in. On the out breath, push off the hands, come onto the thighs. Push off the hands, come onto the knees. Bum in the air, back into child pose. Stretching through that lower back. Reaching those arms forward, stretching through that lower back. Breathing in. Breathing out. Let those hands slide back, bring the elbows down to the level with the knees. Pulling the knees apart, come up onto all fours. Middle fingers are parallel. Turn the inside of the elbow forward. Tailbone down, back up, eyes down. And check your feet are the same distance apart as your knees. Tailbone up, belly down. Bring those eyes up. Bring that body into neutral. So looking straight at the floor, push the head away from the tailbone. Draw in that tummy. Resting on the left arm, bring that right arm up into the sky. Try and follow that arm with your eyes. Pulling that right shoulder back, pulling that left shoulder forward. And then release and go down under the other arm, resting on that right ear. Pushing that right hand through, breathing in. Push off that left arm, bring that right arm all the way up into the sky. Good. Try and look after it, look up, up, look up after the hand with your eyes. And then release and go all the way through. Breathing in on the out breath. Push off that hand, bring that hand up and right arm up into the sky again. So feel the stretch through the lower back. The weight goes onto that left leg, left hand. And then bring that hand next to the other one. Breathing in. Roll the shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Bring that left arm up into the sky. Push the left shoulder back, right shoulder forward. The weight's on that right knee, right hand. Release that hand, push through under the other arm. Breathe in. Push off that right hand, bring that left arm up into the sky. Push the right shoulder forward, left shoulder back. And then release all the way down and through. One more, breathing in. Push off that right hand, bring that left arm up, left shoulder back, right shoulder forward, stretch through that left lower back. And then release and put that left arm under the right shoulder. And then push off that right hand and come up onto all fours again. Tailbone down, push the back up. Tailbone up, push the belly down, push that head forward, pull those shoulders back and down. Neutral spine, loosen that neck. Walk those knees forward to come to sitting. Let those knees come soft, make the feet parallel. Knees hip distance, feet hip distance. Hold behind the thighs, lift yourself up nice and tall. Breathing in, breathing out. Push those knees to the floor. Left hand on right knee, right hand behind, turn. So turn your tummy button round. Tummy button, breastbone, shoulder, pull that right shoulder back. Turn that right nose above that right shoulder. And then release. Keep those feet level so you're not swiveling your hips. Right shoulder on left knee, left behind. Lift so we stay with our vertebra and discs flat to flat. Turn the tummy button, turn the breastbone, turn the ribs. Turn the nose so we're turning the neck. And then come back round to the front. Roll those shoulders up to the ears, round and back. Roll those shoulders up to the ears, round and back, put the hands on the floor, pull the upper arms together, push that chest forward, push those knees down to the ground, pull the toes to the nose, lift that chin up high, pull that chin into the chest. Bring those eyes to horizontal, bring your hands forwards on the floor, all the way up into the sky, all the way up wide, 
side, big circle, touch the floor. All the way up in the sky, lift those, lead those hands together. Push those hands up higher, push the seat bones down, push the chest forward, push the knees down, bring the toes to the nose, breathing in. Breathing out, release those arms, rest them on your legs and roll your shoulders. Well done.